welcome back to Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn with offices in Houston, Texas. Today I'm going to answer the question of when a person can work once they file a VAWA petition. Remember, VAWA stands for Violence Against Women's Act and it is for individuals who are foreign nationals who are substantially abused by either their U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident, aka green card holder, spouse, parent, or child inside of the United States. So today I'm going to give you three different scenarios for people who file for VAWA and discuss when these people will receive work authorization. In the first scenario, if your U.S. citizen, spouse, parent, or child has already filed an I-130 petition for you and you have already filed your I-45 application and you already have a valid employment authorization document, otherwise known as an EAD, in this situation, if you file for VAWA before a decision is made on your I-130 petition, you can continue working using your existing EAD card there will be no lapse in your ability to continue working. Now let's change the facts a little bit for scenario two. What if your US citizen, spouse, parent, or child, or green card holder, filed an I-130 petition for you? You have already filed an I-45 application. You already have your EAD card. But in this scenario, the US citizen or green card holder, spouse, parent, or child withdraws their petition before you had a chance to file for VAWA. Unfortunately, in this situation, after the I-130 was withdrawn, the I-45 by operation of law was automatically withdrawn as well. This means that if you received an EAD or work card, it is now invalid. This is true even if the expiration date hasn't occurred. In order for you to work, you would have to refile an I-45 application and then submit a new I-765 application for work and restart the process. In the third scenario, it's very similar to the second one. If your U.S. citizen or green card holder, spouse, parent, or child has never filed an I-130 petition for you, you will need to file the I-45 Adjustment of Status application and the I-765 Work Authorization application with your VAWA petition. Generally, when you apply for the first time or reapply for work authorization, the waiting time is approximately 10 and a half months for the EAD or work authorization. Now, before we end this video, I just want to give you three tips about VAWA EADs. The first tip is that if your U.S. citizen or green card holder, spouse, parent, or child has already filed an I-130 petition for you, I recommend that you file the VAWA petition as soon as possible. I cannot reiterate this enough. This way, if the abusive person tries to withdraw it, it will not impact your green card case or your work authorization. Once a VAWA petition is filed and USCIS is notified, the I-45 application will remain intact until you receive a VAWA decision. The second tip is that VAWA EADs do expire. These are temporary work authorization documents, so I strongly recommend that you monitor the expiration date and apply within six months of the expiration date for a new one. Because once you apply for a new EAD card, the old EAD card will automatically extend by 180 days for the validity period. This information will be on the new I-765 receipt notice. And finally, if the person that filed your I-130 petition is making threats that they will withdraw your petition, I strongly recommend that you take them at their word and believe them. If you don't believe them or hold on to the hopes that they will one day change, it may result in them secretly withdrawing their I-130 petition, which will then cause you to lose your work authorization and remain unemployed for approximately 10 and a half months until you receive a new EAD card. Hopefully you learned something new today and you found this video helpful. Again, thank you for watching Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn, and we hope that we have made immigration easier to understand. office we are here to help you we bring families together through immigration and on the 
other hand, we help you find solutions. All your legal needs in the hands of people who care, who are there for you. We'll take care of your loved ones at the law office of David Wren.